Hi everybody, we're students here at Hilibri Istana from year 12 and year 13 and we'll be answering some questions you might have about the IB program. Okay, so did your expectations match your reality? Um, I believe that I did like a fair amount of research before I went into the IB, so I kind of knew that there was going to be a lot of work that you had to like do CAS, TOK, so I, my expectations did match my reality, but also it's like a big shift between, for example, doing IGCSEs or doing middle year program to actually doing the IB. So even though I kind of knew what I was getting myself into, it was a little bit of like a shift in what I was used to doing. I found it really demanding. It, it is still yeah. demanding, so we just, have, we just have to get used to it. Okay, next question. What are your impressions of the first half of the academic year? I think it's been really difficult. As we <laughs> talked before, the adjustment is massive and you just get hit with a lot of new things that you have to do. TOK is pretty difficult. Then IB Core, you just talk about TOK, CAS. But otherwise, it's been quite good. It's been kind of fun. Your turn, Aiden. All right. How would you describe the IB program in one word? I would say... It's complex. <laughs> I would say it's um, rewarding. I would say it's challenging. Hello. What are your impressions of the first half of the academic year? Compared to year 12, I think it was much difficult because we had a lot of IAs that need to be done, extended essay, and preparation for TOK essay, which is an uh, important part of our IB. Yeah. Can you you put your, you put the same one down back in? What if I grab it? Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, it's the same question. Um, what are the main advantages of the IB program in your opinion? I feel like the main advantages, especially for me personally, is that it prepares you for university as well as writing uh, very professional pieces such as the EE and your IAs. So I guess it helps you with like investigations and um, I guess um, projects that you want to do. What kind of advice would you like to give for your 12 students? Um, well, I'd say keep on top of your work. Make sure that you are keeping up with the deadlines and don't sort of miss out on anything because if you miss out now, then you'll have to catch up later on and it will be quite a lot of stress because you will already have a lot of deadlines and things like us, we were kind of struggling. Um, and also, if they set work over the summer, make sure you do at least some of that because um, the expectation for us was to write the EE basically mostly over the summer. So we had to sort of scramble and write it all in the first term of this year. But um, I think we're managing well and <laughs> we're still alive. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Question. How much homework do they set for you guys in the over the summer break or is it just the EE? Uh, well, we weren't really given homework. We were all tasked to, I guess, start our EEs as well as uh, complete at least, like, what did, what did Mrs. Abu say? Like, 70% of our EEs should have been done when we returned back in, um, back in year 13. But as you can, well, as you've been told, that didn't happen, so. <laughs> what would you like to wish your fellow classmates for the new year? I just want everybody to do their best and I want the year 13s to be successful and get good points and do well on their mocks and their real exams and I just want over the Christmas holidays I want everybody to have some fun and relax just a little bit if they can. What about you Luli? Um, I wish basically the same as Marta. I want everyone to just relax in the holidays, spend time with their families, spend time having a great New Year's, and also good luck on your guys' mocks next um, in February. Or in January, right? Ooh. I guess all the wishes were taken, but I wish everybody good luck. Um, same here. Have a good time with your families. Um, never forget that you can come, uh, that school is very important. Yes. I wish year 12 to be self-disciplined and even if you don't feel like doing homework or anything which is connected to school you must do it because if you don't do it now tomorrow will be too late um, for me personally because a lot of my wishes have been said I, I would I guess I would like to keep in contact with my friends here because 
um, I'm leaving. I hope we all keep in touch, you know, so that's my wish. Well, I'd wish everyone a happy break, first of all. Um, spend time with your families. Make sure you have a break, your routines. I know we'll all be studying for mocks, so yeah. Thank you everybody for watching this small video clip and I hope this helped you. So Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. Bye! Bye.